Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing extremely fine. My name is Prince and you are watching the Tech Stream. In this video, I am going to show you some of the best features of latest Android 13. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Starting off the list, first up, we have more customizations in wallpaper and styles menu. Now we get more accent colors to choose from in this section. Earlier you were restricted to 4 colors, but now you get 16 shades in the accent color and 16 more colors in the basic color sections. So that gives you a flexibility to choose your favorite color. Color. Apart from this, the theme icon support has been extended to third party apps also, which means every app can have the theme icon, but not all apps are supporting this feature currently. It is going to take some time for the apps to get on with this. Next up in Android 13, we have received a couple of new viewer styles. The first one is for toggling one handed mode on and off, and the second quick tile is a QR code scanner which opens up the Google Lens to scan any QR code. This one is really handy because earlier we had to search for Google Lens in settings or the camera app, but now you can easily access it with just one click. The next change in the quick settings panel is the placement of the settings and power button icon. Earlier it used to be just below where the quick settings end but now it has been placed at the bottom of the screen. This is a really handy addition as it makes the button more accessible for all devices with large screen. And now you can reach these icons with just one hand. Another big change in the quick settings menu is the music player widget. The music player widget has been changed completely and it looks super cool now. The seek bar has this amazing effect that tells you how much music has been played. The play pause buttons are now large and have been shifted to the right side for earlier access, great. And the output picker also comes in a floating widget now and looks dope. Apart from this, the album art in the background now covers the full screen and it is again very good. All the changes related to the media player widget are one of the best new features of Android 13. Next great addition on Android 13 is that you can change the language on per app basis. Yes, you heard it right. Now you can change the language of an app specifically. For example, if you want to access the Chrome in your native language or something, then you can just go to app section select app and then select language. Now this is going to let you define different languages for different apps. This can be really beneficial if you are learning a new language also. Moving on, another quick addition to QS panel is the active apps button in the bottom left. Tapping on this opens up a floating window with apps that are active on your device and are taking up any resources. You can go in the settings menu and force stop these apps as they keep on running in background even when you are not using them. Currently you can't stop the app directly from this floating window. Next up on the list is the better and new anime animations of Android 13. With each update, the animations are getting more refined. Currently, the fade in and zoom in view animation looks so amazing even when you are opening and closing apps or whether you are unlocking your phone with a fingerprint. And this is consistent across the system. The animations look dope on Android 13. The last feature on the list is the privacy edition. And now by default, apps will not have the notification access and they will not be able to send you any notification. Every app will have to ask you for notification permission. This is such a great addition. Earlier, apps used to send extra and not needed notification but now you can select from which app you want notification from and from which you don't. That's it for this video. Those were the top 8 features of Android 13 in my opinion. Comment down which feature you liked the most. Subscribe to the channel for more tech videos. Thank you for watching.